Hello, my name is Anna Bangiri and I'm a radiotherapy physicist. I work at the Radiotherapy Centre at Nottingham University Hospital's NHS Trust. Today I will talk to you about my role in the patient's radiotherapy treatment journey. As a radiotherapy physicist, my role is to ensure that each radiotherapy treatment is safe, is delivered as the consultant intended and is the best treatment possible for the patient. I am involved in all parts of the radiotherapy journey, including planning and checking the treatments, carrying out safety checks on the CT scanners and treatment machines, as well as checking the delivery of each complex plan before the patients come for the radiotherapy treatment. If we take a brain tumour patient, for example, there are four main steps. Firstly, the patient would come into the department to have their mask fitted and complete their planning scan. The mask is made from a material called thermoplastic and it allows you to breathe while keeping you still. When the mask is made, radiographers will take you to have a CT scan in the same position that you will be in for your treatment. The whole process should take a couple of hours and then you can go home. In this step, Physicists would perform routine safety checks on the scanner, the couch you would lie on, the lasers, along with any other equipment and software that might be used for your treatment. Secondly, the medical team created the treatment plan. Using your scan, radiographers and your consultant would mark the tumour to be treated along with any other healthy organs that need to be protected, like the eyes, the lenses, the cochleas in your ears or the brainstem that controls your breathing and heart rate. A physicist, like myself, would then start creating your treatment plan. I would need to balance the need for controlling and killing the tumour while reducing the dose to your healthy organs. In this way, we can minimise the side effects from your radiotherapy treatment. A typical treatment plan for a brain would take between one and two days to complete. Thirdly, when your consultant has approved the plan, a second radiotherapy physicist would review it. They are checking the technical aspects and considering any alternative radiotherapy plans. This is all to make sure we are delivering the best option for the patient. This is a standard process that happens for all radiotherapy treatments. When the treatment plan check is complete, the radiographers would perform additional checks. For each complex plan, a physicist checks that the plan has been transferred as expected between different systems. Finally, the treatment is delivered on the machine using specialist equipment and checked by a physicist. When all the tests and checks have been completed and signed off by a physicist, then the patient can come and have the radiotherapy treatment, which is the fourth and final step. For a patient with a brain tumour, you will wear your mask and lie still on the couch while the machine rotates around you. Patients tell us they do not feel anything during the process. You should know that alongside the pre-treatment checks, Physicists perform routine weekly, monthly, quarterly and annual tests on all the equipment that deliver radiotherapy treatments. This ensures that all radiotherapy treatments are delivered consistently each day and on different machines. I hope this video gives you an overview of the process for preparing to have a radiotherapy treatment as a brain tumour patient. Whilst we work in the background, we physicists are there at every step of the radiotherapy journey to make sure that your treatment is delivered safely and consistently. If you have any questions, ask any member of your radiotherapy team before or after you have your treatment.